Hi, I'm Zobia Amin, clinical psychologist, and today we are going to talk about suicide, its symptoms, and how to prevent it. The first question which comes in mind is, mental, do, can mental illness lead to death? Yes, directly uh, because of eating disorder, then ignoring physical health in case of schizophrenia and depression, indirectly to suicide. Now, nearly 800,000 people die each year due to suicide, which is roughly one in every 40 seconds. Suicide is second leading cause of death amongst age of 15 to 24 years old. Now, suicide is an act of ending one's life. Suicide is not just uh, willing to end one life, but rather not wanting to leave. Suicide is about escaping unbearable pain. It is, uh, it is an act of ending a situation in which a person feels trapped. If we come to the symptoms of suicide, when uh, it's, um, its first thing is the change in daily routine like sleep and uh, eating patterns. Then mood swings, like one day a person is very high, happy, and the other day he is discouraged and is hopeless. Then they feel hopeless, helpless. Then they limit their social contact and want to be isolated or leave alone. Then there are changes in the personality. Then they, they indulge themselves in risk-taking behaviors and self-destructive behaviors. They also talk, start communicating more about death. And uh, they are often found saying goodbye to everyone without reason and like if they are not going to meet you again. Then they tend to collect things which can lead to suicide, like collecting medication, then gun, and any sharp things which can uh, lead to suicide. Suicide does not just affect an individual, their family and friends, but also the community, and countries and world. Because it is not limited just to a specific nation, culture, uh, age group or gender. It's a, it's a problem faced by worldwide. Then uh, the important thing is it's unpredictable. But the most important thing is it's preventable. So we can take steps to prevent suicide. And the steps could be uh, making it, uh, social groups, then uh, economically supporting the people, then uh, making mental health as important as physical health, removing the taboo that mental health professionals are only for abnormal people. Then talking more about what you feel like and disclosing your emotions when you are overwhelmed and feel that's it you cannot deal with it be vigilant about mood swings change in daily routine and personality in yourself and people around you or your dear one if someone is courageous enough to talk about their emotion listen to them carefully don't ignore their emotion be careful what you say to the people who are coming to you expressing their mental illness because what you say can change their life and they can change the way they deal with their problems. Work becoming a better version of yourself as uh, you can start learning parent trainings, then coping and problem solving skills uh, communi effective communication skills, socializing skills, decision-making skills, extra, to make yourself a better version of yourself, dealing with the problem, not just focusing on the problem and getting depressed or demotivated by it. The most important message from me is to look after your mental health and keep yourself and your family safe by creating hope through action. Thank you.